What's going on everybody? We are, it's actually gonna be a pretty freaking bummer day. All right, three plus three, part of living in Idaho. Quick update on what we're doing. We're gonna show you guys how to hook up your TIG rigs to your machine. Hey. You ready, mama? Yep. Let's go. How cold is it outside, do you know? Alright team, we're in the shop, it's a little bit noisy, sorry about that, but we got the K-Tanks, we're 200 pounders, I'm going to go get the machine, and we're going to set up and get ready to start doing this. Let's start this old girl. She'll start. Like a jam every time. What you can see right now is I got two separate bottles set up. I got my purge bottle, which I'll use the flow meter on, and then I got my welding bottle, uh, which I'll use my regular gauge on. Now I got a purge hose hooked to this one. Need to run into town real quick, grab some more steel wool so I can wrap it around this. So that's going to be another thing before we get to welding. So steel wool around the purge hose. Then I have my welding hose, which needs to be hooked into this. So this goes into your block, just like I showed you earlier. We'll go get crescent wrenches, we'll tighten all this up, and we'll be back. Hi, welcome back, let's talk about it. So, basically, I'm set up, ready to rock and roll. I've got all the gauges tied in, so I did run separate bottles to the purge hose and to the uh, torch. Um, just that way I'm not draining a bottle so freaking fast and having to swap out. But, this is my stinger, this is my quick connect. Um, this is going to tie into my leads really quick, but this is now turning into my ground. So let me hurry and hook that up. Ground, now, now this is what it is. Positive is your ground, negative is your stinger, meaning your torch. So I'm going to go hook this up to the table. Just like so. There it is. Stinger, ground. Now what I have is I have my torch it has the block in it. So this is the block. This is your negative. It just hooks on just like so. Okay, you are live. You are ready to rock and roll. So you run two 300s, two T300s. Um, this isn't that big of a deal. You just swap your leads, click, click, done deal. Uh, if you run a Stinger V, it's a pain in the butt. You gotta go to your machine, you gotta go, and don't get me wrong, Stinger Vs are amazing Stingers. They last forever. But you gotta go to the to the machine and take the bolts off, swap your leads, and then you're good to go that way. Um, or just run a set of quick connects in the positive side, which is what I do, just because I run suitcases too. So, anyways, guys, I hope that video helped you guys out. In the next video, we are setting up some coupons, which is what I'm doing right now. Um, we're gonna be setting up some coupons, building dams in them, and taking out some four-inch schedule forty. So. You guys stay tuned. We love you all. Be blessed. Hope you enjoyed it. I am going to start shortening my videos down to about five minutes and and hopefully just pack a bunch of information in there, but still at the same time make it entertaining and not quite so boring. So anyways, guys, thank you a bunch. Be blessed. See ya.